Hey YouTube. All right, so something a little different than the tractors today. I'm actually getting ready to uh, finish putting an extra four 350 watt panels on my ground array. Just wanted to give a quick little video on uh, on my racking system I made here. So the frame itself is six four by fours, concrete in the ground. I got them about three feet down. One by four construction, and to save a little cost, instead of spending hundreds to <laughs> it can get up into the thousands for your uh, bracket system. I went ahead and made mine. Um, yeah, I'll come over here and show. <clears throat> so I just bought the angle channel and went ahead and cut it down to four inch pieces. And then went ahead and, as you see, mounted them. Got the panels nice and level. <clears throat> and then um, this actually was, you know, everything's up and running. Um, but I want to add four more panels to this to get, you know, obviously the 12 350 watt panels. These are running into a uh, Midnight Classic 200. Um, then I have my roof array. I got the top eight panels angled, four panels flat, and backup generator. I'll do a, another little video showing that um, in a later date. And I'll also do another uh, video showing the battery backup system, the inverter, and all that. But for today, I just want to kind of show how I got the mounts all in. So as you see, a little cloudy today. It's still pulling in. Um, obviously for winter, eventually I'm going to redo this and do an adjustable racking system so I can kick these panels up three inches for the winter. Um, checked it for solar noon today and yeah it could come up a little bit but for now to save the cost I went ahead and just set them kind of a little bit in between for summer and winter sun and as you see they're all it's a 48 volt system and I got them running in parallel in a series so four panels equal to 48 volt string and as you see there's the angle bracket to cut down and how they are on the back mounted. We get quite a bit of wind through here. As you see, it's just open valley. And so far, this racking system has been up uh, close to a year. We've had 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Hasn't moved in an inch. Um, so everything's actually quite nice, quite tight. And you can actually, uh, Sun Gold, that's the 12,000 watt inverter I have. Um, they actually went ahead and used my DIY system, you know, from my off grid system. They actually used the picture of uh, my system inside for their um, basically their uh, poster child, their picture for their off grid system. So if you go on the Sun Gold, and actually, that's the, the picture they have is when I had just the roof array. Um, so you're going to only see one Midnight Classic 250 inside um, running on the battery system and that's before I added the four extra 200 amp hour AGM batteries. Um, you can actually mix the lead acid with the AGMs. They're close enough to mix. Um, I've already verified that with Midnight. Um, obviously it's always preferred to have all identical batteries. Eventually I'm going to go to the Life Power, the uh, um, lithium iron phosphate batteries. I'm going to run all of them. They're just $1,500 a piece, so obviously don't have them right now, <clears throat> but that will be a future date. And then I'm also going to do a video where I'm going to end up running a wind turbine out here because I'm sure you can hear in the background, I get plenty of wind through here, so I'm going to set a wind turbine up. So evenings, that'd be a redundancy to help uh, keep the batteries kind of like topped off, trickle charged. It's not going to fully charge the system. We're running about a 10 kilowatt system um, right now. and it's about 600 amp hours of batteries. Like I said, I'll show you all that later. But I have all the strings running into combiner box. And once I start wiring this up, I'll open that up and show how I wire everything. Um, but so far the system's been running excellent. I just wanted a little bit more power because when you have kids, lights get left on a little bit more, uh, things to the day get left on and used. So I just wanted to have plenty of power. Let me see, I'll show you these panels here, all the longy. 350 watt panels uh, you can see that right there and again I'm gonna go ahead and get these mounted and then I'm gonna go ahead and extend 
as soon as I get a little bit warmer weather, extend off of here 22 inches and just bring the frame out a little further to support the front. Um, I actually built this rack on the assumption that I was just going to keep the eight panels, but solar gets quite addictive. So obviously once you start running solar, you'll realize that you want more power, more power, more power. So I should have built the rack system just a little bit bigger um, <laughs> for that possibility, but you know how that is. I'll probably add some pictures in at the end, um, show how the system you know, was set up before I moved all these up um, to the top of the rack to give me the room to put these panels down below. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment, um, but there's going to be a lot more videos to follow uh, showing the system. I like the idea of having more of an off-grid system than a grid tie system. Just for the fact that I have my own battery banks, I have you know everything, so when that grid goes out, all I gotta do is go down, throw a switch, you know, after I cut off the main throw a switch, boom, everything's back up live running. And if, you know, for some reason the battery starts to get depleted through the night, got my generator right there, and that back feeds into the inverter, charges the batteries, and then I can kill it. I'm also gonna end up wiring up a uh, automatic start to go to the inside that I can just flip a switch, fire it up. I'm gonna set up a choke system on the inside where I can pull it, it'll automatically choke the generator. So just for like a, I guess you could say a little teaser, like I said, I'm not really going to open it right now, but once the generator kicks on, it activates the fan on the side, opens up the louver vents, pulls the air through this vent here, and it exhausts out through there. That actually came from Wayfair, um, so I will show that, like I said, in a later date, but today I'm just going to wrap up this racking system. So stay tuned for the next video and you'll see it all done, and I'll show you the numbers on the, uh, on the charge controllers. Thanks a lot.